Hello, hello. This video will have a lot of uh, silent interruptions. Just so you know. So I realized that I have been uh, slowly losing a lot of friends. Like those kind of friends that are different and have always been fitting to me. Like I am different so I have odd friends, you know. But <clears throat> as I'm thinking right now is that I have no friends. You see, because I realized that no matter who it comes from among these old friends, there is It's only about them, you know? In different ways. Someone, one of them is being overly dramatic, uh, trying to paint a picture of me being, how do you say? not acting properly I could even see the symbology of his uh, hatred coming into my environment even though I'm not talking to him or I'm kind of ignoring him because he didn't act well you see and so so didn't his wife you know and that, that, that's the weird thing, because how could he realize that, you see? How could he? Uh, because that's one of the good guys, you know? And one of the good guys cannot do anything bad, you see? It's impossible. And so I just realized that man, man, oh man. I can't, uh, I can't, uh, I can't do this anymore, right? It's small details about this, this Small things, small things that together become large, you see. And one other, one other friend, everything is about him, you know. Still, he, he's kind of a bit autistic, you know. He's a bit autistic, that guy. And that's, that makes it more, more okay, you know, because maybe it's not his, his, uh, his, uh, his fault in some sense but you know I gave him uh, a book for free like who cares I mean I don't think he even opened the book you know he didn't even it's like nothing no reaction at all but still he talks about him you see and so He talks about himself, right? And and um, I can enjoy, I can definitely enjoy talking about another person and about him and his and that and but I am also things are also happening in my life things that other people don't uh, recognize or. You see, it, it, it's it becomes evident that what do I have friends for? What do I have them for? It becomes evident like what's the point? You see? And so I, I stumble on a few videos on, on YouTube 
saying that this is also related to spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakening is to is related to losing loved ones and friends and losing people in general because you kind of grow out of people like uh, and it's it's not a, a good uh, sensation it doesn't feel good but as this um, as these videos are saying which makes a lot of sense is that your life or my life is tied to these people my life is tied to these people that maybe treat me unfairly and um, don't really care about me you see they don't care about what happens within my life and I put energy into those kind of, kind of relationships which are kind of unhealthy you see it's kind of unhealthy and uh, yeah so one guy that I talked about talked um, for a very long time he's doing this strange behavior first he asked me a while back like th this guy is really how do you say he has social skills really high social skills and it is um, and uh, I realized that oh no I, I answered his question wrong because what did he ask me he asked me like this uh, so uh, you are like the only guy uh, I'm like the only one you are talking to or something like that uh, and I said like yeah yeah and and he said like oh, same for me I'm I'm the only you're the only one that I'm communicating with and I felt directly that like oh no I shouldn't have said this I have I shouldn't have said that that uh, he's uh, one uh, one of the only guys he's not made, I'm talking a bit with other people also old friends but I, I felt like no I shouldn't have said that he was like the single person that I'm talking to like one of the oh, something like that you know and directly he got this he got this okay to treat me worse you see and so he started to pressure me into using um, a special kind of um, how do you say messaging program on the phone uh, because it was supposedly more secure and and uh, and so I thought like yeah why not I can do that and uh, then yeah progressively started to, 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 to treat me a bit wor worse treat me a bit worse because he could you know he could treat me worse because I talked to him and not that many other people like maybe one more person I talked to and and so uh, as a friend you know and so I uh, I um, I noticed this uh, how, how he does this you know I am I, I, um, I'm a grown-up I can see this pattern of how people think because um, I have also had these dirty thoughts and manipulative behavior so I know I, I can recognize this behavior um, even though I don't consider having it myself at this time okay and, and so he got into some trouble he wanted me to, to, to kind of have this uh, video and I said yeah yeah uh, and we tried the app and, and, and it didn't work to download the video like there was some kind of video proof or something and so um, 
uh, yeah, he wanted me to save some video or something. And then, what happened then? Yeah, I, I said, well, well, you can email me the link. Uh, and so he didn't. He, he said, I'll continue to use the app. And, and I, I told him, okay, I'll try to download it. It didn't work. And I said again, uh, well, next time remember to email me because I use my email. And, and, um, and so he, he wrote back to me in a text message, like, go into that app again. And like, he kind of bossed over me and like, no, um, you will use my system of communication, you see. <laughs> like his, his, his uh, weird app that he just shared with me that is not really working properly. And um, so he... He, he assumed that I wouldn't go to the app. You see, he, he had this problematic situation that he ended up with. And he used that, that uh, trauma, trauma situation to, to uh, try to uh, move me in, in a direction that he, that he wanted. You see, he used his, his suffering that came into his life there came a suffering into his life and he used that suffering to, to try to uh, move me into his uh, means of communication. I'm not kidding, okay? Uh, he, could have, he could have talked in telephone, he could have emailed, he could have done anything to, if he, if he really was desperate for help, he could have done that, no, but no. He wanted to control me. He wanted to let me be controlled. Because wh why did he do that? Why? Well, he did it because he doesn't love me. You see? He doesn't love me. So he, he thought it was important to control me. When, when we don't talk a lot. We don't talk a lot. But he used his time to try to com co convey me and control me. Because... He doesn't love me. Okay. That, that, that's how simple it is. And um, so. So. Yeah. I realized this. That, that, that he's doing this. And I kind of. I kind of wanted to check him. Like sure. I will go into the app. And again. I, I did it again. Just, just to prove my point. That. He, was, he wanted to control me and it wasn't about his suffering, you know. And so I went there again and checked. And he didn't even put the time into upload that thing that he wanted to share that was so important. He didn't even do that. You see, it didn't work through the app properly. But he wanted to try again. But this time... It wasn't even there. So he expected me to contact him and let him know I checked the app and it's not there. You see? And he, he expected like if, if he's not going to contact me, he didn't, he didn't even check the app and he doesn't care about my suffering. You see? So he again used his suffering in a way to try to control me, you see. And wh what do you think it means? It means that he deserves his suffering. He deserves his suffering because he uses his suffering to try to control others. People that, um, that are his friends, okay. It's very sad, very sad. And I don't think I, I don't think we're, we're going anywhere with this. This is the thing. I realize that I'm losing friends, and maybe it, maybe it's how it has to be because my destiny is tied to my friends. I am connected to them. For me to be able to to change into my new like I, I believe that I'm doing like metamorphosis all the time you know I'm, I'm uh, 
I'm changing uh, as an organism into something new. I'm trying to re renew myself and and uh, how it seems and uh, it's like maybe I'm being held back by 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 this and it becomes quite obvious when when he uh, treats me like this very very sad and uh, the other autistic friend i have a bit autistic friend he he's he's quite good actually but that's the problem right he, he only cares about his his situation his life and uh, maybe that's more more okay because he's honest about it right he's being that friend is honest about only caring about himself you know I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's like maybe I'm just having toxic uh, friends, and and you know, I I try to find some really good friends during my life. I guess I I didn't really succeed in that. Um, but that's the thing. Maybe this is something that happens when there is. Uh, a spiritual enlightenment you know I can tell you about his wife also what she what she told me um, his wife told me because we're living in different countries and she's asking me to, to visit them all the time and um, I can't really I don't have the economical means to do it I, I, ha I always have something that is more um, um, more required to do actually right I, I do because I'm not I'm not wealthy you know uh, and so I cannot just travel there like that um, so she said a while back she said are you you should come and visit us so that you get some good karma I'm like what the fuck is she saying and I directly replied to her I don't I, I don't need to improve my karma I told, I told her directly, I don't need to re improve my karma. You see, and uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe she said, my guess is, is like, she said like this because maybe her husband treats her like shit, you know, maybe that, that's it. Because he treats, he treated my, me like shit, you know, so who knows? Who knows? He, he did. He did. And if he if he's listening to this, I saw I saw what you did, right? You used your suffering to uh, to make it into something that you can't control, like like this, like this. The world, uh, like let's say, God put you in a situation of suffering. Okay, and what did you do? You used your suffering to coerce someone else as if it became a part of your tactical a part of tactics, right? Kind of trying to take advantage of the suffering to To generate something from it. You see? But that's the thing. It's like when you get negative energy. You get negative energy from someone else. And it starts bouncing around between people. Someone's, someone is, is, is uh, behaving bad. Well... It will bounce around between people like a 
like something that is never disappearing. It will jump between people this. Okay. Uh, so yeah, um, maybe I, I need to psychologically disconnect from, from all my friends. And it's very sad, you see. This this started with, you see, I, I have talked with this friend over, over telephone for a very long time. And I have shared my thoughts with him. And so I heard lately that he will write a book about this. This is not the biggest thing. This is what, what started my, my irritation, okay? It was only the start. It was, it was, it was not even enough, you see. I, I, I uh, understand. I understand how. But, but uh, um, I, I really didn't like... I, I talked to him about my thoughts, my deepest thoughts about religion and spirituality for two years or something like that and he talked with me of course also but now he's writing a book about that subject you see and and when i talked to him about this i told him you are not writing about this right because he was writing about something else something else but now he's going to write about what i told him right and uh, yeah, it, it, it hurts. It hurts that I cannot, like, what was, what, what did I need a friend for? Well, I needed a friend to talk to. And what happened to my, to my talk with him? I needed to, to vent my thoughts and emotions about these things. And what happened with that? Well, it was, it was going to be a part of, of, of something like a, a book of his, right? It was going to be, be that. And um, it's especially hurting since, since he knows that I'm writing about this. And uh, well, I didn't like that. And, and then it just continues with the disrespect, like, you are you are the only one. I'm the only one that you're talking to, right? And then I said, like, yeah, kind of. And then that then the 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 shit behavior just went uh, uh, spiraled out of control. You see, he he got the chance to treat someone like shit. That's that's so bad, so bad. And. Uh, That, that's not what a friend is supposed to do. It's not. Well, sad, sad to say that I, I seem to... I believe it's the spirituality of mine that is um, awakening, you know, slowly, steadily, progr pro progressively. It's, it's growing and... I grow out of old things. I do. Or, or, or they don't fit. Don't, they don't fit me anymore because I see, I see why it's not not kind to me. Someone is not kind to me. And I talked to my father the other day. We hadn't talked for a long time. I was just going to ask him how how he is. You see, and he said. After like a few seconds, oh, see you, bye. Or so, th then he realized like, oh, I need to talk a bit more with him. Uh, yeah. Also there, a, a lack of love, you see. M my father need. My father has a need to be proud of me for material things. You know, for for the the this world's definition of success, 
he needs he 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 feels a need to be proud of me for that. And when it comes to spirituality, it's not even there in in his definition of success. Success has nothing to do with family to him also. But success is also family. It is happiness inside a family. It is it is uh, success is children that are not crying when they go to bed. Success is children that are falling asleep without any problems. You see. Okay. See you guys. Bye.